very uh, well. Piece of snow, huh? Yes. I take mud over snow any day. I don't much like you. Right, here's the thing. Uh, I found a place. Watson's cabin. If you can find it, because apparently it's a crazy woman that's not lost it. But there's money. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just... Down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Now first... We need some bait. Are you bored of fishing already? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist. Not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, think I got one. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to 
gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see what's biting there. Let's try again. I like the look of that spot. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. I think you've got a bite. Look! Missed him! Well, that's just a part of fishing. Ah! Ah! Didn't hook him. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Are you taking me back? Time to go, boy.
Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Yeah. There you are! How are you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest... Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. isn't exactly an enchanted forest, this place, is it? No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. Almost perverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Now nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. Prince turned into a toad, lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. What's Valentine's curse? Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying, kind of her being a bit of an idiot, but something about a massacre and a last surviving Indian cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. But what was it? W was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? about an eagle or an owl in a grave site. I didn't really get it. Well, I think it sounds very interesting.
Hey, silly. How's it going? I'm okay. Tilly. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. That's right, There's nothing. That You're soon. useless. You're worse than useless. You're a parasite. You're a worm. Ridiculous. Get ready. But I don't want to work, Miss Grimshaw. I don't feel right. I don't care what you feel, girl. Get ready! <laughs> useless whore. Hi, Mary Beth. Hey, Karen. Hosea. Hey, come here, kid. What? What? Don't you disrespect me, boy. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself, again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. Okay. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Come on now, boy.
There we go. Easy boy. Gotta be done. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow. And lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men? Guns? Riders! Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it. Idiot. They took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? 
I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Watch it. Why are you riding like an idiot? This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bed. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Just you and me. Sweetheart. Are you getting on? How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Be here. Find new rifle, too. Yo, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it. Put it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge, you can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! 
job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will ya? Let's just finish this and get out of here. We can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. You shooting it or not? Just thought you'd want the honors. I'm done wasting my breath on you. <clears throat> that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. 
Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Okay, let's take a look at it. I don't sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. I hope you make something pretty with that. Okay.
Oh, the things I'd do if I had your youth. These days I'm fishing more and tracking less. My old man was right. Sneaks up on you. Hope you're not expecting much for it. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Not much demand for coyote pelt, except for one, down in Scarlet Meadows. Big black beauty. No one's ever caught him, though. A lot of folk hunt, but not so many know their way around a needle and thread. It's good business, I'm telling you. You know the Wapiti on the reservation up in the Grizzlies? I lived with them for a few months. Old Rainsfall was always talking about this giant wolf he knew. Not sacred or anything, just a, a really big wolf. up to the ridge west of Annisburg. Good hunting. You meet a falconer named Jerry. Tell him I said hi. Done. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. Done. Sure, you need this. Sure. Thank you. Really. No outfits made here, folks. No high crew exotic.
Back off will soon. Thanks, partner. I hope you keep the peace for once, you brute! Well, fine, if you insist. Be with you momentarily. Thanks, mister. Brian's here, folks. Prepare to ball. Will you clear out of here, please? Thanks, partner. Nothing like a fresh start. We'll let our folks in Lemoyne know about this. Thanks for your assistance.
remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? All right, take a look. It's worth buying, I'll buy it. Hmm, come across a few of these myself. Oh yes, people lose these all the time. Yep, I get a lot of these. Yep. Sure. Done. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Much appreciated. Lighten's my load. Oh, you got something for me? <laughs> Thanks for your help. So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. Stay safe and quiet now. Thank <laughs> you. 
ropes off. Come on. I could have a family one day. Please. You do it and you die. Mister. That's a nice horse. Thanks. What are you doing? Calm down, will you? Thank you. 
Easy. Whoa.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. Oh, what are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Hey, slow down a bit. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Let's try and get there in one piece. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Slow down! You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this ride, nope. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes.
I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Hey! Foster! All yours, Captain. We're going on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure you get oh. shot! Please. These Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Don't molest me, please! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Just put the gun down, they I ain't them. got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please, don't do it. C'est insensé. Mais c'était froid, Why could I do I am adverse to conflict, my dear. Hey, we're dying over. Tell him, Mr. Come on. Empty your pockets, Mr. Everything you got. Be on your way. Coming. Don't be shy. Gonna need all your money, my friend. You got a big problem. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I just need to gun down. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. Oh, Hill? Miss me, please. Pay me what you got, oh, mister. You won't get hurt. Get robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Give me your money. Nothing else. Make me hurt you. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Please, I can deal with this girl. Maybe what you got, mister. You won't get over my friend. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Make me hurt you. Empty your pockets, mister. You be on your way. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Sorry, it wouldn't kill you. Get okay. robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There'll be something in here, Arthur. Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We'll take that. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hush bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. There's some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? 
That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Hey! Crashed alive!
Yeah. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah. You think all this Lamoan air is free for you? Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. You threatening me, you piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority. Hope you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I was told. 